Biden is furious. This guy's really mad. I mean, really, 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 really mad because he's not going to be the next president of the United States. I mean, even if he had been, he wouldn't have made it through. I don't think he would have made it through any of it. I don't think he would have ever gotten elected. I don't think Kamala's going to get elected, but they've got the DNC going on next week. All next week. Lucky us. Oh boy. Do you really think she's going to be able to ride this wave? I kind of think it's peaked, but we'll see. We'll see what the polls say. This is all going down. You know, this is, this is a guy who's so angry and his family is clearly angry because they all promised that he was going to stay in this race. I mean, even when the chips were down, right? He was still saying this. You're going to drop out. What you going to do? Well, here's my answer. I am running and going to win again. Yeah. Except Nancy Pelosi, Barack Obama, Chuck Schumer, and the mainstream media said, nope, it's not happening. So even though the American people elected Joe to top their ticket. Some other folks decided it wasn't going to happen. Now, Alex Wagner, who is a host over on MSNBC and a crazy one at that, but you know, it, it, it goes with the territory. If you work as a host at MSNBC, Alex had this to say when she went on with Stephen Colbert the other day, effectively sort of admitting the truth that she doesn't think should really come out that you don't have the right to know, but you already know. Watch. Good reason. You're not supposed to hear about it. You're not supposed to know what really went down because they've made a decision. But you know what? I'll tell you what, what went down. Nancy Pelosi called him and it was like a fateful phone call because up until then, by the way, the poor guy's like suffering from COVID. So he's nursing his COVID. He gets a call from Nancy Pelosi who tells him that she's going to demand that he resign unless he actually resigns and that she had some polls that she was going to make public and this, that, and the other. And so he had no choice, which is why, you know, Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden have kind of had this falling out. And so we'll see what happens next week at the DNC already. There's like a zillion protests that are being organized. Um, but Nancy Pelosi, you know, she's been on 60 minutes and she went on CNN and she's caught every single time as people ask her, like, what happened to your relationship with Joe? And she's sort of like, ah, you know what? Because listen, I'm going to tell you this, who needs enemies when you got friends like Nancy Pelosi who are really willing to do you in. She did them in. She did them in, ladies and gentlemen. So how do you like that? It'll be an interesting DNC. I will be here with you through all of it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you share. Make sure you go over and visit my financial research company at 76research.com. Go and check out the YouTube channel. I'm going to be right there right now. I'll see you in like five minutes over at 76 Research. At 70. In fact, you know what? Can I do this? Can Trish Regan actually type and talk at the same time? Because you know what? I might even put it in the chat right now. Or maybe one of you guys could do it for me because you know I'm not that talented. <laughs> Can, does anybody know how to? Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it at 76research.com. I'll see you there.